Hi everyone, I'm Paul Holloway and on today's video I'm going to talk about the Extended Range Variable Diameter or ERVD Step Wedge that I designed with PH Tool. Uh, what is this funny shaped thing and what would you use it for? Thickness testing most often times will just use a flat step wedge. We all know what a regular flat step wedge looks like. But when doing thickness testing on curved surfaces, so repeated scrubbing of the probe back and forth, what can easily happen is the probe tip can become cupped. Now in this case, I've got a delay line probe here, and you can see I've sacrificed this delay line uh, just for you, and that's probably gonna cost me 50 bucks, darn it. But uh, after it's cupped, you can no longer calibrate on a flat step wedge because you have this annoying gap right underneath the face of the probe. So, and this is where curved blocks come in handy, but how many blocks do you need? Do you have one for little tiny tubes and then maybe a two inch tube or a four inch tube? So the whole idea behind the extended range variable line that I worked on with PH Tool is to basically put a whole bunch of blocks in one design. The ERVD block is basically four curved step wedges and one flat wedge built into one block. There's a flat wedge against one side, and then there are sections for pipe sizes of three quarters of an inch or 20 millimeters, one inch or 25 millimeters, two inch or 50 millimeters, and four inch or 100 millimeters. Most flat step wedges have five steps. And on the ERVD block, it may look as though there's only four steps available on the flat step wedge. However, there's an extra area over here which serves as the fifth step. The design of this block is based around these compound curves which are stitched together at tangent points and the EDM wire cut paths which serve as the steps. These holes here are the starter holes for the wires. So if your procedure calls for curved step wedges, having something like this may be easier than having to track down three or four different curved wedges. And for jobs like boiler scrubs, where you need to continually check your calibration, having a curved step wedge is necessary after, of course, the probe becomes cupped. Those are the basics behind the design of the ERVD block from PH Tool, or as I've called it, the robot ear. I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching.